Today, the first steps in the long road to justice for Terrence Crutcher and his family began today. And as we decided and we discussed the first time, we just talked to the media last Saturday. The only thing we wanted was a fair and transparent investigation so we could understand, so the family could understand why, why was Terrence Crutcher gunned down in the street on his way from school? And when we met with Chief Jordan and Mayor Bartlett, and they said we we're gonna have a fair and transparent investigation, and they showed us the video the video that clearly showed that Terrence Crutcher did not have a weapon, that Terrence was not belligerent, that Terrence had his hands up, that Terrence was not a threat. When we saw that video, we knew there was no reason for Terrence to be shot down in the street. We knew that if TPD did their job, and presented the evidence fairly and transparently to the DA's office, Coonswaller's office, Steve Coonswaller's office, there was readily apparent that Officer Shelby had to be charged because a crime had been committed. We knew that if justice and fairness and equality was values that the Tulsa County District Attorney's Office upheld and felt as real values that charges would be brought against Officer Shelby. So today, we are thankful to TPD. We're thankful to Chief Jordan for providing the information to the District Attorney's Office. And we are happy that charges were brought. But let me be clear, the family wants and deserves full justice. Come on, Come on. And full justice, full justice requires not just charges, but a vigorous, a vigorous prosecution and a conviction for those who shot and killed Terrence for no reason is held accountable, not only for this family, not only for Terrence, but so be a deterrent for law officers all around this nation to know that you cannot kill unarmed citizens. That's not the American way. That's not who we are as a people. We believe in life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness and due process rights. And so, as I stated, this is a long walk. This is a long journey to justice. And we understand this family, this great family, the Crutcher family, who we so proudly, myself and Melvin Hall and David Briggs and Benjamin Crone, we so proudly represent. We know that nothing that happens, not charges, not convictions, not sentencing, nothing will bring Terrence back. We know that while this may be a day where justice has begun, it's still a sad day because the same time that the DA was identifying the charges, this family was at the funeral home preparing to bury Terrence. Never lose sight of that. Never lose sight of that in any of these cases. It's not just about hashtags. It's about people. It's about the destruction of families. When you take a brother, 
when you take a son, and most right. importantly, when you take a father to four. It is important that we remember Terrence's legacy. It's important we remember what we are as Americans. It's important we understand that everybody has a constitutional right to be treated with dignity and not to be considered a bad dude just because of the way they look. I'm going to ask my co-counsel, Melvin Hall, to talk a little bit about our reaction to the, the specific law, the specific charge, and talk about the indictment and affidavit.